Hello, hope you're all well. Sorry, that was the weirdest intro I think I've ever done. I've just done a workout, so I feel like my whole body is shaking right now. So today I really wanted to do something a little bit different and actually a style of video that I haven't done for so long. Actually, I can't even remember the last time I did it. It's a what I wore this week video with a bit of a Parisian style chic twist to it. So I'm gonna show you everything I wear for the next seven days. And there'll also be a little bit of a vlog style what I did thrown in there too. So hopefully that shall give you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. I've got some stunning dresses from Karen Millen on their way. So as soon as they arrive, I shall definitely be showing you those. I've got some lovely new sets of gym wear from Lulu. Lemon. So hopefully if I'm being good and keeping up my exercise this week, you should see a couple of those sets too. And on Friday, I have my very exciting fashion and style edit with Suzanne cocktail evening at their London store. It'll be the first time that I ever get to meet some of you lovely subscribers in real life. So I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you. And of course, at one of my favorite stores, feels like the icing on the cake. So I'll make sure that I film not only my outfit, but some footage of the event, which I shall include a little bit later in this video. So today we are off to a barbecue for our friend's birthday. So I better go hop in the shower, sort out this state of affairs, but I'll make sure that I come back, turn the camera on and just give you a quick look of what I'm going to wear. See you in a bit. Five outfit ideas in just one day, but the caramel and dresses have just arrived and they are so stunning, I literally cannot wait to show you. Full disclosure, as always, this portion of the video has very kindly been sponsored by Karen Millen. They kindly offered if I would like to choose a couple of new in pieces from their collection and they didn't have to ask twice. So first of all, I chose this hugely romantic and very feminine cotton embroidery dress in the blue. And in truth, I have to say, I feel really nice in this dress. I think the quality is absolutely stunning. I love the puff sleeves and the fact that you've got this tie at the waistband so you can really cinch it in. You've obviously got a V at the front there and I know my microphone's kind of messing it up a little bit, but you can open the button at the top. And then you've got that lovely frill section at the hem, which was worth the time it took to iron it. And if I couldn't love this dress anymore, I then discovered it's got pockets as well. Now I think it is quite possibly the most perfect summer dress. I really love this one. I don't really want to take this one off now. I'm really, really in love with this dress, but I do have two more to show you. So let me get those on. Then on to the second dress that caught my eye, this beautiful stripe ivory and beige midi dress. Now this has been made from 100% viscose and I think what caught my eye originally was this really beautiful neckline. I just think that's really original and hugely elegant and timeless for my wardrobe. I also really love that asymmetrical hem. I think that makes it look even more special. And styling wise, I think you could mix this one up quite a lot. You could add heels and make it work for the evening like I have or maybe add a linen blazer and make it work for the office or maybe just add sandals and a lovely beach bag for when you're on your holidays. I think it's a really versatile one actually. My mind is kind of spinning with all different ways that I could style it. It is a running theme with Karen Millen, but I have to say again, the quality is really, really beautiful. I just think it's a very timeless, super elegant, but really original summer dress. And then last, but by no means least, I was thinking of my summer holidays yet again. Can you tell that I am desperate to get on the beach? But I was thinking of something that would not only look chic around the pool as a bit of a cover up that you could just throw on, but also something that if it's taking up space in your suitcase, I want to be able to maximize everything that I take away with me. So I want to have as many things with me as possible that could also be worn in the evening too. Now I thought I'd ordered this in the sort of creamy beige tone. That was until I opened the package and I was kind of like, oh, I've ordered it in the red. But in actual fact, I think that's quite a happy mistake because I think this dress is beautiful. Before I tried this one on, I would have said the first blue dress was my favorite. I just lost my heart to that dress. But now I've tried this one on, I'm actually not so sure which is my favorite. I think they're quite different. That first blue one is obviously quite classic, very elegant and a typical summer dress. Whereas this one has got that bohemian spirit running through it, which is definitely my cup of tea, certainly for summer as well. So hopefully you agree that Karen Millen have got some really beautiful dresses in at the minute. I am absolutely chuffed to bits with mine. So what I shall do is add a link to all three of the dresses I chose in the description box below. And I shall also add there a little bit of an edit of all my other favorite new and noteworthy pieces that I've seen on their website recently. Right, I have waffled for England today, so I'm going to go and get changed and I will finally show you what I'm gonna wear tonight. 
So I decided to go with my Suzanne camisole top that I've got in black. Uh, this is the one that I bought recently. And I paired it with a pair of jeans which I've had for quite a long time actually but sort of rediscovered a love for them recently. These are the favorite cut from And Other Stories and I've got them in a size 28. I would say that's a perfect fit actually if you like them too. Now I'm thinking once the sun goes down it might get a little bit chilly so I'm going to need a coat as well. And obviously a black leather jacket would go with this but I was thinking something just slightly different and a little bit lighter in tone. I'm going to style it with my brown suede leather jacket instead. On my feet, I shall add a cutaway here as well, but I've got my block heel sandals that I bought from independent brand Flattered. I tend to wear those a lot actually. I love the style. I think it's really on trend for the season and they're really comfy as well, so can't argue with that. Sorry, by the way, if you can hear some banging from upstairs. This is actually Walter's bedroom above me and he is making his presence known loud and clear. Good morning, it is now Sunday after the night before and we had such a lovely evening last night. It was pretty chilled actually, there was only about 10 of us. I must admit though, I kind of blew my diet just a little bit. We're really lucky actually because two of our friends are actually trained chefs and they, it was their house we were eating at so they had this amazing, what was it, a caramelised pork which I just couldn't stop eating, it was so delicious. And my lovely friend Sheena, she's an incredible cook, she doesn't do it for her her job but I think she just really really enjoys it but anyway she made this amazing homemade uh, bakewell tart with like a good dollop of cream on it so that is why I'm here in my gym kit again I've got to burn off those calories that I ate last night I am in no way shape or form an expert at all I think you would really laugh out loud if you saw the full video of what I look like doing my exercises but I am really enjoying it and it feels good to get strong so I'm wearing another set here today that I got from lululemon um, I did a collaboration with them over on Instagram, which you might have seen the other day. And I can highly recommend them, actually. I think they're beautiful quality and they feel like they fit and scoop and lift in all the right places, which I'm definitely not going to argue with. So plan for the day, I think my stepdad's coming over for a little bit of food, which would be nice to see him. And then I think we're going to go to the cinema a little bit later on and see the new Top Gun film. I don't know if anyone else has seen it yet, but do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. So anyway, that is what I'm wearing to work out, but I will show you a proper outfit later on today once I've sorted out all of this. So we just got home from the movie, so I thought I'd just quickly show you what I ended up wearing. Starting with some nice freshly washed hair, which feels so much better than this morning's look I had going on. So a bit of a cos-tastic look today, um, both my t-shirt and these lovely pleated linen trousers that I bought from there recently. This t-shirt actually is the one that I rave about all the time on my channel, and I think I described it as the perfect classic white tee that you can buy on the high street at the moment. I have in my head that it was 25 pounds, but I might have that wrong. Um, I shall link it in the description box below anyway. I forgot to say actually, movie wise, we were going to see Top Gun and then in the end, we had a last minute switch to Jurassic Park instead. I don't know why we did that. And I think my film review would be that it is two and a half hours long and unless you're particularly into dinosaurs, you would probably say it needs to be about an hour and a half. <laughs> I was a little bit bored, I must admit, but the boys loved it, so I might just try and catch Top Gun another time. So anyway, that is my outfit of the day. You can't see it, but over there is one giant mess that really needs tidying up and sorting out. So that is what I think I'm going to tackle for the rest of the evening, but I shall turn the camera back on again tomorrow so I can show you another outfit idea. So I was up bright and breezy today, but not quite bright and breezy enough to actually get myself exercising. My entire body from head to toe hurts. So I figured I would be a little bit easy on myself and having a bit of a rest today. So outfit of the day, as you can see, is a little bit of blue on blue going on. Wearing my very pretty Suzanne shirt that I got a couple of months ago. It's such a pretty blouse. I say that with every Suzanne blouse that I've got, but this one is particularly pretty. I think one, because it's in that very lovely pale blue shade, which I love. Um, but two, you've got those lace trims and the frills over the shoulder. I've just done a bit of a turn up on the sleeves, left it quite open on the chest 
and then just on a bit of a tuck and up and over that technical term of up and over into my jeans. So styling it with one of my favorite pairs of straight leg jeans. I've added my Arquette belts, which again, I seem to be reaching for an awful lot. And then I've gone really casual, adding a little bit of a turn up. So you see a bit more skin on my ankle and then finishing off with my Steve Madden mules, which I got from Lulu's recently. It's looking pretty warm today, but possibly on the school run, if I need a coat, I might wear my denim jacket. One second, I'll show you. So if I needed another layer, I would probably go with a bit of double denim with a jacket like this. This is actually David's that I pinched from his wardrobe. He was barely wearing it anyway, so I figured it needed to get some cosplay per wear going on. And actually, in terms of an authentic boyfriend fit, I really quite like this one. And I quite like the contrast of that quite boyish looking denim jacket with something quite pretty like my shirt underneath. So that is outfit of the day. And in terms of what I'm doing today, it's actually quite boring, to be honest. I've got loads of admin, I've got a list as long as my arm, but actually I've got an exciting end to the day because I need to finally choose which of my Cezanne outfits I'm going to wear on Friday. Do let me know actually if you would prefer these what I wore in a week videos silent and not the waffle of what I'm doing because I do have a tendency to go off on a tangent, tell you my life story, tell you what I'm doing for the next year and maybe you just really don't want to know about all of that. So if you'd rather them silent and I just put a little bit of music to them and you don't want to know what I'm up to, that's fine, I won't be offended at all, but do let me know in the comment section below. Right, I'm gonna go tick my way through that list, make myself feel a bit better that I'm being really productive, and I shall check back in with you tomorrow with another outfit idea. Have a good day. As you can see, I have all the gear, not necessarily got the idea. So I'm back to it again today. Um, I'm going to do my workout routine. I think today I am on legs and then I'm going to do abs. I tend to do a lot of HIIT classes um, just from YouTube and I am determined to get at least one ab for summer. Ideally two, if I'm feeling really lucky, but I'd still be happy with one. So this lovely set again came from Lululemon. And then I chose these ones in the Aqua, which I thought was a really pretty tone. I actually really like that with the white sports bra. I think that looks a nice set together. So really happy with my new gym wear. That definitely sorts me out in the clothing department of the workouts. I just need to get moving now on the actual exercise part. So as you can see, I am going for a bit of cozy comfort for this evening. I've been filming today and as any of you who follow my channel will know, I tend to share about 10 to 12 outfit ideas per video. So that means for me, when I'm actually filming, I'm changing 10 or 12 times throughout the day which funnily enough can get quite tiring. So when I finish work, I kind of crave just those super comfy clothes and stick my tracksuit on. Even if I've still got to work and I've got to do some editing, it feels nice to just get cozy comfy for a little bit. So even though I was stuck on something pretty casual, if I need to pop out and look a little bit smarter, I could just put a blazer over the top and it kind of pulls it all together. This is the tracksuit I got a couple of months ago from weekday. I'll stand up in a minute so you can get a full shot. Um, but they do some really, really nice, um, both hoodies, crew necks, um, and their joggers are a really nice fit as well. They're quite high-waisted and a really nice tapered leg, so I feel like they make my legs look longer than they actually are. That's it, I haven't really got much more to report from today. I'm quite looking forward to taking all my makeup off, letting my skin breathe a little bit, and then starting again tomorrow. So I'll see you then. So, oh. Do you know, he's trying, to, you turn on the camera and he starts banging about in the kitchen. Honestly, we both work from home, but we both have very different jobs. So I'm obviously in here and I'm talking about clothes and talking to camera. And he's in his office just across the hallway with music that's like, and that's what he does all the time, clanging the pots about. Anyway, I've done some filming this morning and um, it's about midday now, so I am just heading out for a little bit of lunch with my lovely friend. She only lives down the road, so it's nice and easy and obviously really nice to have a little bit of a catch up. And then I'm gonna come back and finish off filming all my outfit ideas for a video which will go out not next Sunday, but the week after, I think. <laughs> I tend to joggle them around a little bit, so I never know quite which video you guys will be on. But anyway, outfit idea. Oh, I'm so good at this, aren't oh, no. I? So this t-shirt is one that I bought recently from Cos. 
and I think it was very, very reasonable. I remember the price more than the brand because it was 17 pounds and I thought really lovely quality. I've had two new pairs of white jeans recently. I've got the slightly baggier ones that I bought from um, Free People, which I really, really love. Anyway, these are the other pair that came from Weekday and these are a little bit more tailored. They're not skin tight or anything like that, but they are more of a straighter leg. And then to finish, I'm going to go with probably one of the best purchases I've bought from Cezanne in quite a long time actually, mainly because I seem to be reaching for this particular jacket almost on a daily basis. It goes with everything and it's just perfect for the level of heat that we've got going on at the moment. So I shall link it in the description box below but if it's not in stock now I'm imagining it'll only be a couple of weeks time or a month before it comes back in again. Right I'm gonna get out of here before he clangs anymore or puts on his dish dish music. So this is my outfit of the day. Well, actually, it's probably outfit of the early evening as we're about to pop out for dinner with the boys. We live in a little village um, about half an hour from Nottingham, so middle of England. So we're really lucky because not only do we have lots of lovely schools around here, um, we're 10 minutes away from the train that gets you to London in an hour, so it's easy to commute. But also we're then surrounded by these gorgeous English country pubs. You know, the one we're going to tonight is literally about 10 minutes up the road and it's beautiful. Beautiful. So anyway, we're going there for dinner, mainly really to just help Albert chill out a little bit because he's doing his GCSEs at the minute, so I thought it'd be quite nice. So outfit-wise, I have gone for this quite vintage-looking pretty embroidery on glace blouse. I've shown it on my channel before, but definitely worth a second peek because it's really, really beautiful. Now, as you can see, it's quite warm this evening. I am wearing shorts, I've got my legs out, and it makes a good excuse to be able to use my lovely new straw bag. So although I'm not actually heading to the beach, I am going to make it look like I need to have this big bag with me this evening because I love it and it needs to get an outing. Full disclosure, in this bag is actually not very much at all. I've got my little pouch that I tend to take my camera around in, my purse, my sunglasses, and hugely exciting, a ball pump. Walter makes me carry these around so he can constantly re-pump his basketball if needs be. Highly exciting, what's in my bag? We shall get off to dinner. See you tomorrow. So the big day has finally arrived. Today I get to meet some of you lovely subscribers in person for the first time ever. So it's my Cezanne cocktail evening this evening um, at their London store in Westbourne Grove. Today also happens to be the hottest day of the year so far, which it looks gorgeous outside. So I thought for the train at least, this is what I'm going to wear. And then we'll dump our bags at the hotel and I might have to change into a little vest top or a cami. Handbag wise, I wasn't very sure which one to go with but I think I'm going to do my basket bag mainly because it's huge and when we do go to the Cezanne event I might want a few things with me so I thought I could literally you know take everything I might need bar the kitchen sink in that don't ask me why I take a giant suitcase for one night in London girl needs options as promised I shall turn on the camera and film as many elements of the event as I possibly can so for those of you who couldn't make it in person you've got a little bit of a glimpse of what the evening was like and fingers crossed it goes well and we can do it again another time. Right, Sheena's going to be here in a mo, so I'm going to grab my last few bits and bobs and I shall turn you back on in a few hours. Hello everybody, it's now Sunday, so I am a little bit out of sync with my what I wore this week. But of course, I couldn't finish this video and not share all the details from the event with Suzanne on Friday. So despite being incredibly nervous all throughout Friday daytime, the event couldn't have gone better. And I cannot tell you how lovely it was to be able to meet some of you gorgeous subscribers in real life for the first time. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who came along and also a big thank you to Suzanne as well who treated us all to a lovely Parisian chic summer's evening. It was so hot actually on the Friday. Sheena and I trekked around town, going from shop to shop to shop. She was determined to get her steps in. And I think on the Friday alone, we did 17,000 steps. I was exhausted. So on Friday night, there was champagne, there was canopies, a little bit of a chit chat from me, 
while I talked about the new collection that's in store. It actually felt like one big girly shopping trip. It was brilliant. Now, obviously, as it was in Suzanne's store, tickets were really, really limited. So I know there's quite a lot of you that missed out this time around. But I'm thinking next time, hopefully, if there is a next time, we could maybe do a couple of nights running so that more people get the chance to come. We'll have to figure that out. But yes, a really wonderful evening with the loveliest group of women. Footage wise, I left my lovely friend Sheena in charge, which sadly on one hand means that we haven't got an awful lot of video to show you. But on a happy note, the reason being is because she was having so much fun chatting to everybody, she kept forgetting to turn it on. So apologies for that, but a sign of a good night, I think. So this is what I actually wore for the event. I'd popped into the store earlier in the day and these couple of pieces just had to come home with me. I chose a pop of colour for once, as you can see, but I thought this was a really cute vest top that I would probably wear an awful lot throughout summer in lots of different ways, actually. It is just a teeny tiny bit too see-through. Um, and I didn't have the right bra with me. So I actually popped over the road to free people and found this pretty little bralette. Um, I'll pop a picture here rather than stand in my bra. But I thought this would actually work really nicely under a couple of the different dresses I've got that are either quite low cut at the front or the back goes down in a scoop. I often think if you can't hide your bra, it's quite nice to make a feature of it instead. Now, although I did already have a pair of Suzanne's flares, I really wanted to get my hands on this particular style as I think with the pockets, it just feels a lot more flattering. I'm so very happy with these. I think they're a really nice shape. So that's it. One very busy, exciting, heartwarming warming what I wore this week with a healthy dose of chit chat thrown in for good luck. As always, I hope this video has given you lots of inspiration, a few Parisian chic outfit ideas, and of course, a little insight into the outfits I tend to reach for on a daily basis. Don't forget to let me know your favorite in the comments section below. It's always really lovely hearing from you all. And don't forget to click the link in the description box below and take a look at all those gorgeous dresses available to buy now at Karen Millen. If you've got this far in my mammoth chit chatty video this week, First of all, thank you for sticking with me. And second, you're in for a bit of a treat with the outtakes. Thank you so much for all your support. Big hugs, everybody. And I will see you on Sunday. So I'm going to show you everything I, so I'm going to show you everything I wear for, so I'm going to show you everything I wear for the next seven days. Oh, sorry, that's my weights. I'm kicking on the floor. What are you gonna do, darling? <laughs> I'm gonna show them everything I wear. When are you gonna do it? <laughs> do it this week. <laughs>